Hey everybody, welcome to Country Girl. Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite movies that I like to watch in the month of October. And I did list this as an October movie playlist versus a Halloween movie playlist because um, some of the movies on this playlist isn't necessarily a Halloween type movie. But I am going to do these in different categories and I'm gonna first start out with the category of like family oriented movies. Um, and of course, the very first movie that I want to start with is Hocus Pocus, because that is like probably our number one movie that we watch every year. Um, we have been watching this, um, golly, I guess since it came out um, on DVD, we picked that up. It is a Disney movie. It's got Bette Midler in it um, and some other famous actresses and actors. But um, it's about the Sanderson sisters. It's set in Old Salem. Um, it starts out back I don't know, 100, 200 years ago, something like that, um, when the Salem Witch Trials and things like that were going on. And then it goes to present day. It's just a really cute little fun story. And um, we like to watch that every single year. So that is number one on my list. Another movie um, that is really cute for families is a, another Disney movie. It's called The Haunted Mansion. It's got Eddie Murphy in it. And in that particular movie, it is just about a uh, man. He works a lot, um, so he decides he's going to take his family on a trip. While they're on this trip, he stops at this mansion that he's supposed to help sell. His family stay in there, and they realize that the mansion is haunted. And while they're there, um, they do have to help to um, solve a mystery in order to help these ghosts that's living there out. But um, I don't really want to give too much away. It's just a really cute little fun movie as well to watch. And then um, the third one that we really like to watch every year and that's family oriented is Monster House. This is a kind of like a Pixar type cartoon. Um, it's more computer type animated, but it is really, really cute. And um, I don't really want to give away too much of the story because they really kind of give you the reveal at the end as to why things are happening the way it is. But basically it's a little boy, he is um, left at home. His mom and dad have to go to some kind of convention. His dad's a dentist and the babysitter comes over and um, you know, she's just this typical, you know, young girl who don't really care. She just did it for the money or whatever. And so he kind of can come and go as he pleases as long as he don't really cause her any problems. He has a little friend come over and then this other little girl comes over and they have a house across the street that's haunted or they don't know it's haunted yet. They just think there's a crabby old man that lives there. And um, they're all scared of him. He kind of watches his house and everything. And, um, you know, something happens that causes them to learn that this house is actually haunted. It's not the man that's not necessarily always the man that's having the issues with them. The house itself is evil. So, um, you know, it's just really cute, um, quirky type little story. And another movie that we like to watch um, this time of year, and this one actually is not Halloween, and it's E.T. Um, I'm sure that probably everybody out there ha knows that movie um, if you have not seen it. But it is an old movie. It's probably um, was filmed back in the 80s. And um, the only reason why I think I really kind of get into it this time of year is because they do have a Halloween scene in it where they dress up and they go trick-or-treating and things like that. But of course, that is about an alien that gets left here on Earth. Um, the spaceship takes off and leaves him here. And um, this little boy discovers him in his backyard. He tr takes him into his house, um, tries to keep him a secret. And um, their whole goal is to try and get this little alien to return home. So um, that's a really cute little story as well. And then um, this one is not really a movie, it's a series and it's Goosebumps. Now Goosebumps did put out a couple of movies and this is by R.L. Stein, and those movies are cute as well. So those would be nice to watch. Um, but as far as the series, it's kind of like, um, the only way I could describe it would be like a modern day um, kids Twilight Zone. And um, each show is about 20 to 30 minutes, and it's kind of like a book. Um, each show is kind of like represents one of the stories that he wrote in his book. And, um, you know, each one of them are different, and they all kind of have like little twists and, you know, 
things that you get little surprise endings and stuff like that or little mysteries and things that's really neat to watch um, so that is something that we have enjoyed watching as well and then um, moving on to more of your creepy adult type uh, movies now i don't really watch horror movies so i'm not really going to be covering anything on my list when it comes to things like that this is more like i said um, creepy or suspense type uh, movies but um, the first movie that i want to talk about um, i consider this halloween just because they do have a halloween scene in the movie and it involves a scarecrow but um, technically, I guess it's not considered just a Halloween movie, but it's called The Dark Night of the Scarecrow. This is an old movie as well. It was also probably made back in the 80s. The cover on this looks really scary, um, but this movie is not really a scary movie. Um, there's not, even though people die in it, there's no like hack, hacked up murder, blood and gore and all that. There's none of that in this movie. Um, and um, basically it just to kind of give you an idea of what this is about someone gets um, accused of doing something in this movie um, in hurting someone and men in the town decide to take it into their own hands to uh, seek justice for this um, crime that they thought was done and after they um, punished this particular individual, they realized that they were incorrect and he was not, um, did not do anything wrong. Basically, they did something really horrible and they covered it up and got away with it. And so um, the remainder of the story is basically each one of these men getting paid back <laughs> for participating in this um, thing that they did and I just don't want to tell you what it's all about it's kind of hard to do movie reviews like that because our movie suggestions because you kind of want to give people an idea to pique their interest but you don't want to give too much away but it is a really good movie so um, you can rent this on Amazon uh, I think we just ended up purchasing it because it was only like a few dollars more and we do watch it pretty much every year so the dark knight of scarecrow a very good movie another movie i like to watch this time of year is sleepy hollow this is the one that has johnny depp in it and i like it just because i've always really been intrigued by the headless horseman and the legend of sleepy hollow i really like the storyline and this is even though i think they try and like make this a story that kids kind of get into to me it's more of like an adult type thing one for this particular movie because some of the scenes in it but to me the story itself is just i don't know that i that would have been like some kind of halloween movie or story i would have shared with my children i think this is more of an adult type halloween story so anyway i really like to watch that every year um you know that's just basically solving the story about the headless horseman and i'm not it's been a long time since I have seen it, even though I do like to watch it. Um, so I can't remember if it follows the book um, or the original story. I don't think that it does, um, but it's still good in and of itself. But anyway, I like to watch that one. And then another good movie that came out, um, this is, I don't even know when this, how old, this is not a newer movie either. I mean, this is, probably I want to say maybe late 90s early 2000s and this particular movie um, is about ghosts it's called The Others and it has Nicole Kidman in it um, I don't remember if this was ever out at our movie theaters but if it was it was not highly publicized and it was um, didn't last very long and this was something that I had seen one night it just come on TV I started watching it and um, after it was over with I remember thinking that that was really a good movie and it's something that it's got uh, kind of like a twist to the ending that surprises you that you're not expecting so um, you know I like stuff like that I like stuff that I try and figure out and can't if I figure it out then it's not too good as far as I'm concerned but um, I do like those mystery suspense type movies and um, this does involve a woman and she is living in a house with her children. This is one of these really old homes um, that almost looks like a rundown mansion or almost like one of these castles or something. 
Um, but anyway, and it's very quiet. It's a quiet type movie. Um, not a lot of talking, I don't really think, through it. Uh, it's been a little while since I've seen it, but, um, you know, it's it's really good. It does have to do with, you know, ghost and paranormal type stuff. And it is, I'm wanting to say, set back in maybe like the 1940s, maybe. Maybe a little bit sooner. Not really sure. But that is a good one to put on your list. Another movie that we really like. Now, this one was put out probably within the last five years. And it is called The Visit. Um, I don't really, I, we like it. My family really likes this movie. We actually bought it because, you know, we've just watched it so many times with other people. But um, it's a little bit different. These kids have never seen their grandparents and because the um, their mother is, you know, had been estranged from her parents for a lot, quite a lot of years. But she finally breaks down and decides that she's going to let her kids go and spend a week with her grandparents while she is on a cruise. So she sends them off on a train to go see her grandparents. Um, they're uh, somewhere where it's really cold and there's a lot of snow. Um, kind of like out on a farm in the middle of nowhere. And the little girl's doing kind of like a documentary type thing. And while she's there, she's trying to find out why and what happened between her mother and her grandparents. Because she would like to help to resolve that if she can. And so that's kind of like her mission while she's there. But different strange things just start to happen um, as the days go by. Things that just don't seem quite right with her grandparents. And um, that is quite a creepy movie. Um, but again, you know, no horror, gore, stuff like that. I think there may be one or two scenes that, you know, might be uh, borderline, but still isn't, you know, what I would consider like a horror movie. But that's a really good movie as well. Um, and it's kind of one of those that's got a twist ending to it. The last two movies that I'm going to talk about definitely are not um, what we consider Halloween movies. Um, one, again, is an older movie. I just like older movies, I guess. I don't know. Either that or I just don't feel like they're putting out good enough ones, um, newer ones for me to like consider a favorite yet. But this particular movie is by Stephen King, um, and it's called Misery. It's got Kathy Bates in it, um, and this one is basically a writer is going away um, to a secluded cabin so that he can kind of get through his writer's block and come up with some material. And while he is, I don't know if he's on the way there or on the way back, I can't really remember, but he ends up having like a car accident. It's in the snow. Um, he blacks out when he wakes up he is in this woman's farm type house and you know he's in the bed and she's taking care of him and you know nursing him back to health and he finds out while he's there that she actually is a big fan of his and um, you know of course you know starting out everything's nice and you know he's grateful and everything but then he re starts to slowly realize that this um, fan is kind of deranged and he ends up becoming a prisoner in her home. And um, so part, the majority of the rest of the movie is basically him trying to escape and get out of that situation. But it's a very, very good movie. And then the last one um, is a movie, it's called The Gift. And this one is also a movie that I don't remember being on um, the movies where I live. Um, if it was, I don't remember, you know, I don't think it was out very long. It wasn't publicized either. And uh, this is a movie I want to say maybe came out in the early 2000s. It's got a lot of famous actors in it and actresses. It's um, Kate Blanchett, Keanu Reeves, Hilary Swank, um, several other ones that I recognize, but I just don't remember their name off the top of my head. But um, this movie revolves around a death of a young woman and they are trying to um, find the killer and determine what happened to her. And this lady that lives in town, she's a widow. She's got three boys that she's raising by herself. And she's kind of got like a gift of a second sight. And so for side money, she reads tarot cards and stuff like that to people. And she has these visions and different things start to happen. And a lot of that plays into the solving of this particular crime. But um, like with some of the other movies, it does not really have a twist ending, 
but the ending will kind of surprise you. And so, um, you know, like I said, it's a really a good suspenseful type movie. And that is all that I have for my October movie list. So I hope that I was able to share some movies with you that um, you will be interested in, you know, checking out this year. Maybe it's something that you hadn't thought of before, something new and different. Um, maybe you've seen it before and you just thought, you know, you know, I've given you the idea to pick it back up and watch it again. But, um, you know, if all else fails, you know, there's always the Twilight Zone. That was always a family favorite of ours. We've Growing up, I've always remembered watching that with my father. Netflix does have all of the seasons, I'm pretty sure, of every Twilight Zone there ever was. And I think all of them are in black and white. So if you don't have any problems watching black and white TV shows, um, that is definitely fitting for the month of October. Something else that me and my family like to do is anytime that we're going to sit down and watch a movie like this, we like to have snacks. And one of the um, snacks that we... Um, made this year is the Muddy Buddies. Some people call it, I think, Puppy Chow. Matter of fact, I think the recipe that I used is what it was called. And I will put a link in the description box below so that you can get that. But basically, you're just gonna put in two cups of chocolate chips, three-fourths cup of peanut butter. You're gonna put that in the microwave and you're going to set it for 30 seconds. You're going to take it out, stir it, put it in another 30 seconds, stir it again and then um, if you want to put it in another 30 seconds or you need to you can but i would not exceed that because you don't want to get your chocolate to burn once you do that you want to have a really large bowl to put your checks mix in because you're going to pour that chocolate over it and then you're going to take it and you're just going to kind of fold that chocolate in now uh, some of your cereal will get broke up because it's just almost impossible for it not to um, but just be careful when you're doing that because, you know, the more you stir it, the more pieces it's going to break up and you want, you know, your pieces pretty much whole. I used about three cups of powdered sugar and poured over top of the chocolate and um, stirred that up until it all kind of separated. And then you just put them in whatever little bags that you want to serve them in. I did pick up these little bags at Walmart this year and I think they were only like a dollar for all of these. And they turned out really cute. We really enjoy eating these snacks as we watch our Halloween movies and it just adds a little something extra special to it. That is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.